If you're a claims adjuster, you have probably heard someone talk about Xactimate macros. However, you may not fully understand what macros are or how they can even help you. In this video, I will explain what they are, how they can help you, and how you can create your own. Now don't be running off in the middle of the video because if you'll stick around to the end, I'll tell you how you can get all of my macros for free. Now first of all, we need to answer the question, what is a macro? A macro is a saved list of items that you can add to an estimate. In other words, it's a group of line items that can be added to your estimates versus adding each one of those line items individually. How can macros help you? Well, macros can help you write accurate estimates because you're not forgetting to add certain line items. In addition, they can also make you faster, which means you can handle more claims, which makes you more money. Now let's jump into Xactimate and I'll show you how you can make your own macros. I'm gonna show you three ways to add macros and then I'll show you which one my preference is. So we'll go to our Sketch workspace first. Now the default that you're going to see when you go to Sketch is this sketch ribbon up here. It's going to have these four tabs at the top. It's come over here to options, come over here to macros, and then it'll show all the macros that we've got listed. If we want to add a macro, then we're going to go down to macro list and it'll bring up a dialog box. Hit add because we want to add a new macro. Now when the, this uh, macro information dialog box pops up, you'll need to give it a name description, and then we'll add our line items. So I'm just going to give it a generic name and description. So I'm naming it training, and I'm just putting drywall and paint. When you're adding the line items here in this box, you can either just type in the category code and selector code. That's the fastest way. If you don't know the category code or selector code, then you can just click inside either the category or selector code box, hit the space bar, and that'll bring up your categories or your selector codes. I'm just going to do a quick generic macro. I know the line codes and we're going to say we're just doing this for the walls. So I do half inch drywall, remove and replace, hung, ready for texture, and I'm just going to do the walls for my calculation code. This is going to be on a dwelling. So we'll use a dwelling as our coverage. And if I get it like I want it, to add item and that adds it and you can go to your next one so we're going to do te we're going to do dry text again we're just doing the walls dwelling as our coverage add item and then we need to paint all that stuff so we're going to do the same thing now i'm going to add a line note to this one so i'm going to do some masking and i'm just instead of doing walls i'm going to mask the floor so i'm going to change my calculation code to f Still going to be doing coverage dwelling and I'm going to add that and then now I'm going to add a line note which is going to be real generic I'm just going to say the masking floor due to amount of drywall and paint work being performed and now I want to attach this to that last note that I added which is the PNT mask SF so I'm going to hit add and then now it's going to attach itself to this line note whenever I run the macro so that's going to be good enough for our macro and so we've got the bedroom here selected. Now I'm just going to select our training macro and hit run. It doesn't look like it did anything, but we have to go to our estimate items to see what was put in there. And then here's our macro that we put in there. Here's our mask SF and here's our line note. Masking floor due to amount of drywall and paint work being performed. Okay, I'm going to delete these. Now the second way you can add a macro is go to estimate items, come up here to your search macro, and if you can't see it then it may be collapsed, so hit this arrow to expand it. And then we're going to go to add, and then we're going to add a macro, give it a name description, just like we did while we were in the sketch work screen. So that's the second way you can do it third way you can do it, which is the way I like to do it, is building a macro from line items that you already have added. So let me give you an example. So let me 
Let me add some line items here to our bedroom. Okay, so I've got these line items in here. I'm going to add these to our estimate. Now these are added to our estimate, and let's say I want to build a macro from this. I can come up here to bedroom. I can right click and then go all the way to the bottom where it says save macro. And I can save this as a macro. So I hit save macro. I can give it a name. I'm just going to do base carpet. It's going to be my code to replace base and carpet. Give it a generic name. Now we can come up here to our macros. And here's our macro that we added. Now the one thing you can do also is if you have a lot of line items in here and you only want a few of them to save as a macro, you can just select one, hold control down, select another one that you want, keeping the control button held down, select another one, you can save those as a macro. So I've got these three highlighted and then I can hit save macro and then I can name it, give it a description just like we did before. So that is how you can build macros in Xactimate. Now if you don't want to spend the time and effort to come up with your own macros, I have multiple macros that you can have for free. Just click the link in the description below and you can download a list of my favorite macros. Anyway guys, I hope that video helps. I will see you in the next one.